There's a very exciting new project coming to the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center, a geodesic greenhouse, and today we're going to learn all about it. The structure here is uh, Growing Domes is the company, but it's a geodesic dome, a geodesic dome originally created by Buckminster Fuller, the architect, but it is going to be a greenhouse system that allows uh, food to grow 365 days a year. It has a GAT system, a grand, uh, ground to air heat transfer underground, which is going to be able to help us keep it about 70 degrees year round, so we can have growing year round. So what will be inside of there growing is an aquaponics farming system. Aquaponics is nature's symbiotic system of recirculating fish and plant life. So the basics of it is is that you feed the fish, so that is the human input. Uh, the fish effluence or poop is what goes into, uh, it is converted from uh, nitrate to nitrate and the nitrate is then uh, used by the plants as their food. And the circulation continues after that and goes you know, back into the fish tank. So it's a uh, 90% less water is used than traditional farming. Uh, you just have to kind of top off what is evaporated and, unless you have a, a system problem. Um, but it has no byproducts, uh, you know, no pollution is created. There's a six times faster grow rate and uh, it's really an answer for everybody to have fresh fruit year round. Especially here, what we're planning to do, uh, the nonprofit Aquaponics Project Inc. was founded for that purpose of giving uh, agricultural solutions, sustainable agricultural solutions to uh, community food deserts. The plan is um, working with Judy and the people at CBEC, we've been talking about how important it is for educating and involving the community. So it will be an educational facility as well. The plan is to have a true educational facility uh, be rebuilt next door. But uh, for right now, we will bring people in there and introduce them to the, the concept of it. Once the true educational building is up, we won't do a lot of touring because you just don't want to, you want the biosecure at atmosphere of it to remain, you don't want to get too many, you know, bugs and germs and people and whatnot. Uh, so uh, people can come in and look at it, certainly, but we'll, uh, it won't be a full tour once we get the whole thing up and growing. To learn more about Seabeck, you can visit bayrestoration.org. For QAC TV, I'm Mallory Drummond, and thanks for watching.